Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I will cover more updates coming from the United States today. I'm looking into the 4680 battery cells and of course we are looking here to China and what's happening here. So let's start with Franco Mosato here who um, is reporting every single day about the ships moving from um, China to Europe and it looks like we have another one that just arrived in Seebrugge or will arrive in the next few hours and we have three um, that are currently in the Mediterranean Sea and another few that are coming to the Indian Ocean. What we do see here from Vuva and thanks to him uh, that the entire parking lot is pretty much full again so Chinese New Year is over and this entire thing is getting rolled out again. So um, looking into the recall here we have Model Y 14,042 and then we have 12,033 Model 3 um, built between the 28th um, of December 2020 and January 15th of 2022. Um, those have um, some issues with the heat pump, so Tesla will solve that in the uh, near future and these recalls should be handled very fast, so uh, nothing really to be concerned about. Um, what I'm very happy is to see that the ramp up of the production happened now again. Um, there should be two or three ships arriving very soon, so we get a new, uh, another three ships to Europe by the end of the quarter. The production looks very good here um, and we should be able to get them um, out of Shanghai as soon as possible and by time arriving in Europe by end of March. So um, this could be happening in the next two, three days. The time frame would be enough to get into Europe by time. Then we have a news from Elon Musk here, which is actually that the Giga Fest, so in Austin, will happen by um, the 7th of April. So this um, could be an indication that finally uh, for Austin we have more information um, about the opening party here because indications are clear that deliveries are already happening out of Austin. Um, Joe Tegmeyer has talked about that yesterday in his video and as well Jeff Roberts that I'm thankful for this content here. Um, so we do see that the production ramp should further happen in the coming weeks um, and the parking lot we have in the back there should be filled more and more by cars in the coming weeks as well. So in the same procedure as we have seen it in Shanghai when they started to build the Model 3. Then we have a new patent here which is for the single piece casting um, which will um, be much better. It will be easier to produce. The Giga Press is supposed to make one of them in 60 to 120 seconds. That is kind of the time frame they take to make a single piece casting. So this patent is um, just for worldwide. So um, Tesla is just trying to ensure that not everybody is copying that and he they will have a big advantage with that guys. Um, we all know that and they should be as well already inside the Model Y in um, Austin and so it's very exciting to see that they are moving forward with that and here we have from Drive Tesla another picture that really shows that the um, red area here was full with cars yesterday. Um, they are gone right now so it is clearly showing that the deliveries are happening and the cars are being picked up here from trucks. We haven't really seen any massive trucks coming in here and picking up but I think we will see that in the coming weeks that more and more trucks are coming and we might catch here um, the transportation of cars going away to customers. Um, please do let me know if you have anybody who is actually already having a VIN for Austin, Texas and is a receiving a Model Y from Austin. That would be very exciting um, to see if that is happening now in the next few days. Then try Tesla and another one we will talk about right now um, said well 1 million cells produced for the 4680 is exciting but how many cells are actually used for um, the production and how many do we need to make a really good production and um, he is saying that for 2625 cars around about 2,100,000 cells are needed. Um, there are different opinions about how many cells are actually needed for the battery pack with the 4680 cells. So it's not really clear here 
um, how many it will be. If you have any idea, please let me know. Um, those discussion online here say 1 million sales for 1,250 cars, which would be around about that. Um, what Mr. Munro was saying here before and Christina is sharing that with us. So um, again, we kind of have to get a feeling in the near future. If we have any updates, maybe Munro, as Sandy Munro is gonna get a Model Y from Austin, is gonna take it apart and we have a better idea. Um, so it's not really clear um, how many salts are needed yet for each car. Um, but based on if we take this numbers that we have just seen here, this just clearly shows that the ramp up and the production of the 4680 cells are successful. But again, it's a long way to go, a long rampage that's gonna happen to really make a difference when it comes to the amount of cars that can be um, produced with the 4680 cells. And this will be very important for the near future as well as the ramp up here of the performance variant. How many cars can they actually already produce with the 4680 cells? Then we are looking at China one more time because CATO is actually done with its battery factory in Shanghai. And just as a reminder, it is just two kilometers away from the Shanghai factory. So this is a very, very um, good news for Tesla to further support the growth in China, but as well in the export market um, and bring out cars as fast as possible out of Shanghai because that is needed. The demand is there, the wait time is there. And of course, Tesla is not only delivering to Europe, as I mentioned many times, as I, as a European, um, like to focus on that, but we have the Japanese market, the Korean market, Australian market, and definitely other countries like, for example, Singapore, etc., that are all receiving cars here from Shanghai factories. So I'm um, having a very strong supply chain. And with that as well, the CATL new battery cell production here, um, this will help Tesla to further um, yeah, cement its uh, growth here in Shanghai. We have more updates here as well. For example, a picture here from Membo in Japan. So more deliveries in Japan. It's not an easy market. Japan is not easy, but Tesla has been expanding to Japan and it looks like the demand for people to buy the car is there. Uh, even though it's not an easy market to go into, as well as Korea, where Tesla had to change a few things on the website because there was um, yeah, some misunderstanding um, about the products of Tesla. So again, guys, thank you very much for being here um, and checking out my news today. Um, if you do enjoy my channel, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that for the daily news. And um, I hope to see you back here very soon um, tomorrow or maybe on Monday. So take care and thank you very much for being here. Bye bye.